Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of transformations on the coordinate plane. This is standard 8.10c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 8 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got a parallelogram, PQRS, and it's rotated 90 degrees clockwise. And it's going to make a new parallelogram. So 90 degrees clockwise, that's a quarter turn, uh, going to be rotated around that way. So it's going to be kind of pointing more to the right. But which of these rules describes that transformation? Well, if we don't have it memorized, which one of these represents 90 degrees clockwise, we can always just kind of graph them see what happens. So let's start with our original right here. So we've got our P, Q, R, S. Q, R, and then S. All right, so what do we have here originally? So our P is going to be negative 6, 4. Our Q is going to be negative 4, 9. Our R is going to be negative 1, 7. All of these are in quadrant 2 right here. And then our S is going to be negative 3, 2. All right, so F says we're going to just change it to X and then negative Y. All right, so we're just going to take all of our X's and keep them the same. We're going to take our Y's and change it to negative. Or if it's negative, change it to positive. So going to go to negative 6, negative 4. Oh, but look at that. I can already tell you it's going to go in the wrong direction. It's going to go down there. So negative 4, negative 9. So negative 4, negative 9. You know what? I'm thinking this is a flip. We're just going to reflect this across the x-axis here because it's supposed to be Moving over to the right, this is just flipping down. So negative 3 to negative 2. Negative 3 to negative 2. Yeah, right there. So there we go. We just flipped it or reflected it uh, across the x-axis, but that's not what we're looking for. We want to rotate it. All right, so let's see what negative x and y is. All right. So we're going to take the x and we're going to make it negative. All of these x's are already negative, so we're going to just make a positive now. We have to go back to our original. So x is going to be 6 and then 4, so at least we're moving in the right direction. So x is going to be 4 and then 9. 4 and then 9. And then we're going to have 1 and then 7. And then we're going to have 3 and then 2. Hmm. You know what? It's not a rotation. That's another flip. Look, they just reflected that. Because this should be kind of pointing down in this direction. Not necessarily reflected as if the y-axis is a mirror. So that's, that's a tricky one, but that's also a reflection. All right, so let's uh, check our... Just swapping the y and the x. Okay, so the y and the x uh, means we just take these two and we just we just flip it. We got four, negative six. So what that's going to do? Four and neg. Whoa, that's going to go. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and just call a no on that one. It's not going into the y quadrant. It's going to go. That looks like that's a 180 degree rotation. Let's hope it's j because that one's not working very well. So y negative x. All right, so we're going to take our y. That's going to become our new x, 4. And then our x is going to have to be turn negative. So 4, 6. OK, so that's looking like it's in the correct spot. So that's going to be a 9, 4. 9, 4. There we go. This is going to be a 7, 1. And that is going to be a 2, 3. And that looks good. Yep, we've rotated it. So that is our answer, J.